worth noting that the Auditor General report, reported, that's 2023 report, reported a 46% reduction in irregularities and infractions in specified entity space in the audit, 2023 audited accounts of public boards, corporations, and other statutory institutions. SIGA will work with Auditor General Internal Audit Agency, the boards and management of SEs to improve on compliance. And it must be noted that what is gratifying in this report by the Auditor General is that even the 46% reduction in, in, in the infractions, 90% of the infractions are recoverable. What it means is that government through Auditor General, Accountant General, and all other entities working together will be able to recover these infractions and irregularities that has occurred. Gone were the days when these infractions will have been realized in five years' time because no, none of these entities will have reported and Auditor General will not have the, the, the opportunity to peruse this account. And it is important that the people of this country, because the amount in question is close to about a reduction of close to 9 billion Ghana cities. Infractions that was re reduced from 2022 to 2023. At the end of financial year 2023, the aggregate net loss of SOEs was reduced to 2.573 million, marking a remarkable improvement of 82.13% from the previous year's net loss of 14.402 million. What it means is that in the year 2022, the net loss of the operations of SOEs was 14.40 million Ghana cities. In 2023, it reduced to just 2.573 million. A massive reduction of our losses for about 82% in just one year as a result of an oversight and throwing light and ensuring that these entities present their account. This is a wonderful feat that I think that it is important that the people of this country must do. And we